Welcome to an incredible journey into the future of robotics. At NVIDIA's GTC event, CEO Jensen Huang shared a vision so transformative it could reshape every industry. This concise commentary reveals how NVIDIA is powering a new era of physical AI, enabling robots to see, think, and learn far beyond current expectations. Prepare to be amazed as we explore how these developments are about to redefine manufacturing, healthcare, and even our approach to exploration. For robots, uh, robots have the benefit, the benefit of being able to interact with the physical world and do things that otherwise digital information cannot. Uh, we know very clearly that the world is, has severe shortage of, ro of human laborers, human workers. By the end of this decade, the world is going to be at least 50 million workers short. We'd be more than delighted to pay them each $50,000 to come to work. We're probably going to have to pay robots $50,000 a year to come to work. And so this is going to be a very, very large industry. There are all kinds of robotic systems. Your infrastructure would be robotic. Billions of cameras and warehouses and factories, 10, 20 million factories around the world. Every car is already a robot, as I mentioned earlier. And then now we're building general robots. And so, right. According to Jensen Huang, physical AI and robotics could soon become the world's largest tech sector. Projections suggest that the global robotics market may surge from $25 billion now to as high as $260 billion by 2030. Analysts predict that by 2035, there could be around 1.3 billion AI robots in use, climbing to 4 billion by 2050. Even Elon Musk believes humanoid robots might outnumber humans someday, with annual production possibly hitting 1 billion units. This expansion is driven by major AI breakthroughs that allow robots to navigate unpredictable real-world tasks, along with the economic pressures of an aging population and rising labor costs. Meanwhile, applications range from advanced manufacturing and surgery to autonomous vehicles and rescue operations. AI and robotics are moving so fast. Everybody pay attention to this space. This could very well likely be the largest industry of all. At its core, we have the same challenges. As I mentioned before, there are three that we focus on. They are rather systematic. One, how do you solve the data problem? How, where do you create the data necessary to train the AI? Two, what's the model architecture? And then three, what's the scaling loss? How can we scale either the data, the compute, or both? so that we can make AIs smarter and smarter and smarter. How do we scale? And those two, those fundamental problems exist in robotics as well. In robotics, we created a system called Omniverse. It's our operating system for physical AIs. You've heard me talk about Omniverse for a long time. We added two technologies to it. Today I'm going to show you two things. One of them is so that we could scale AI with generative capabilities and generative model that understand the physical world. We call it Cosmos. Using Omniverse to condition Cosmos and using Cosmos to generate an infinite number of environments allows us to create data that is grounded, grounded, controlled by us, and yet be systematically infinite at the same time. Okay, so you see Omniverse, we use candy colors to give you an example of us controlling the robot in the scenario perfectly, and yet Oz Cosmos can create all these virtual environments. NVIDIA tackles a significant hurdle in robotics. Gathering enough real-world data for training is slow and expensive. Its virtual sandbox, the Omniverse, lets robots practice tasks in a safe, fast environment. A key part of this platform is Cosmos, a new tool that automatically generates infinite, realistic virtual settings where robots can learn tasks at lightning speed without risking costly mistakes. By scaling the quantity of data and harnessing powerful computing resources, Courses, NVIDIA can accelerate the brain development of these robots. Everything that moves will be autonomous. Physical AI will embody robots of every kind in every industry. Three computers built by NVIDIA enable a continuous loop of robot AI simulation, training, testing, and real-world experience. Training robots requires huge volumes of data Internet scale data provides common sense and reasoning, but robots need action and control data 
which is expensive to capture. With blueprints built on NVIDIA Omniverse and Cosmos, developers can generate massive amounts of diverse synthetic data for training robot policies. First, in Omniverse, developers aggregate real-world sensor or demonstration data according to their different domains, robots, and tasks. Then use Omniverse to condition Cosmos, multiplying the original captures into large volumes of photoreal, diverse data. Developers use Isaac Lab to post-train the robot policies with the augmented dataset. And let the robots learn new skills by cloning behaviors through imitation learning, or through trial and error with reinforcement learning AI feedback. Practicing in a lab is different than the real world. New policies need to be field tested. Developers use Omniverse for software and hardware in the loop testing, simulating the policies in a digital twin with real world environmental dynamics, with domain randomization, physics feedback, and high fidelity sensor simulation. Real world operations require multiple robots to work together. Mega, an Omniverse blueprint, lets developers test fleets of post trained policies at scale. Here, Foxconn tests heterogeneous robots in a virtual NVIDIA Blackwell production facility. As the robot brains execute their missions, they perceive the results of their actions through sensor simulation, then plan their next action. Mega lets developers test many robot policies, enabling the robots to work as a system, whether for spatial reasoning, navigation, mobility, or dexterity. A highlight of the event was Disney's toddler-sized bipedal robot, known for its lifelike movements and balance. This project shows how robots can be both highly functional and brimming with personality. Newton, developed by NVIDIA in collaboration with Google DeepMind and Disney Research, is an open source physics engine designed to close the gap between simulation and real world performance. Built on NVIDIA's warp framework, it delivers fast, realistic physics modeling and supports advanced approaches like differentiable physics, speeding up the process of robot learning. The open source design encourages the global robotics community to contribute, potentially accelerating breakthroughs worldwide. The second thing, just as we were talking about earlier, one of the incredible scaling capabilities of language models today is reinforcement learning, verifiable rewards. The question is, what's the verifiable rewards in robotics? And as we know very well, it's the laws of physics. Verifiable physics rewards. And so we need an incredible physics engine. Well, most physics engines have been designed for a variety of reasons. It could be designed because we want to use it for large machineries, or uh, maybe we design it for uh, virtual worlds, video games, and such. But we need a physics engine that is designed for very fine grain, rigid and soft bodies, designed for being able to train tactile feedback and fine motor skills and actuator controls. We need it to be GPU accelerated so that we these virtual worlds could live in super linear time, super real time, and train these AI models incredibly fast. And we need it to be integrated harmoniously into a framework that is used by roboticists all over the world, Mujoko. And so today we're announcing something really, really special. It is a partnership of three companies. DeepMind, Disney Research, and NVIDIA, and we call it Newton. Let's, let's take a look at Newton. How do, you like, how do you like your new physics engine? You like it, huh? Yeah, I bet. I know. Tactile feedback, rigid body, soft body simulation, super real time. Can you imagine just now what you were looking at is com complete real-time simulation? This is how we're going to train robots in the future. Uh, just so you know, Blue has uh, two computers, two NVIDIA computers inside. Look how smart you are. Yes, you're smart. 
Okay. All right. Hey, Blue, listen. How about let's take them home? Let's finish this keynote. It's lunchtime. Are you ready? Let's finish it up. We have another announcement. To <laughs> You're good. You're good. Just stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. All right, good. Right there. That's good. All right, Stan. Okay. We have another amazing news. I told you. Another game changer is Groot N1, which Jensen Huang described as the world's first foundation model tailored for humanoid robotics. It features a dual system inspired by human cognition. One system uses vision and language to perceive and plan, while the other translates those plans into precise motions. Instead of multiple models for different tasks, Groot N1 unifies control into a single AI architecture. Training combined real-world data with synthetic data generated using NVIDIA's Isaac Jim blueprint, producing months worth of demonstration data in just hours. The result is a more reliable, efficient system for humanoid robots with early access granted to well-known robotics companies like Boston Dynamics. By blending AI breakthroughs, virtual training environments, and open source cooperation, NVIDIA is ushering in a new era of robotics that could reshape every aspect of our daily lives sooner than most people imagine. NVIDIA Isaac Groot is a platform of sim-ready data simulation frameworks, and synthetic data generation blueprints, and pre-trained models. NVIDIA Isaac Root N1 is an open generalist foundation model for humanoid robots. Groot N1 features a dual system architecture for thinking fast and slow, inspired by principles of human cognitive processing. The slow thinking system lets the robot perceive and reason about its environment and instructions and plan the right actions to take. The fast thinking system translates the plan into precise and continuous robot actions. While internet scale training data provides common sense and reasoning, it doesn't teach robots specific actions or control. So we need better data and more of it. Human demonstration data is limited by the number of hours in a day. With Groot blueprints for synthetic data generation built on NVIDIA Omniverse and Cosmos, we can exponentially multiply a small number of real-world data captures into a massive, diverse training dataset. Groot N1's generalization lets robots manipulate common objects with ease and execute multi-step sequences collaboratively. across many environments, and even multiple embodiments. And with synthetic data generation and reinforcement learning, humanoid robot developers can post-train Groot N1 for their specific robot and task. The age of generalist robots is here, driven by developers building on NVIDIA Isaac Groot. 